Okay. My last video got claimed. I already knew I was playing with fire, so we're gonna go back to how I am reviewing miraculous videos where it's like I am like live recording myself as I jump around through the video and talk about things. But that comes with the caveat that I can just talk forever. But so far, most of my Young Justice reviews have been under the 15 minute mark, so fingers crossed we don't get into miraculous territory where I talk for 45 fucking minutes. Okay, episode 3 of Young Justice and we open up with the outsiders going on a mission and I, at first I was like, oh, are we back on Earth? And I didn't know some of these characters. I was like, wait, is, is Supergirl here? Is Supergirl here? But she's not. We got Wonder Girl. We got Discount Captain America. I think she was Power Girl or something. This literally looks like Captain America. What the heck? Um, we got Tim. So I, I read in the comments of the of the video or something where people are like, this is the OG team or something. But yeah, Tim and wonder girl like i think it's her name or dating if i remember from the finale of season two which also i think i need to put this out there season two was a season where megan dated lagoon boy but then she went back to connor and everywhere i read online said that connor died and megan realized her feelings for him and that's how they got together and i could never find that episode and i thought okay then episode missing or maybe i just stumbled on fanfic and i didn't know but anyway it turns out that it was just a memory that gar had and he's just remembering his um friends from home and megan and connor i love their alt channel <laughs> where they can just talk between themselves i don't know if that's something martians can do where they can carry on multiple different conversations but they can create a separate channel of conversation separate from the larger channel of conversation with the mind links and i don't know maybe it's kind of like you and your family everyone's talking in the room but then you and somebody go to the side and then start to whisper i don't know but i just liked that um, power that megan had and um beast boy just being a dick and when he grabbed his head i was like oh no something 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 happened there's a brain worm or something's going on but this episode was more f heavily focused on the marriage and the traditions the boys go do some stuff and the girls go do some stuff and we see the priest test again but it turns out you you get a little bit of a hint of oh something something might be going on between the prince and the priestess oh my god as you it's like oh there was something between you two and then me going back and doing the reviews of the past episodes the royal advi the royal advisor guy actually talked about your ill-fated matrimony and we learned later in the episode that the prince wanted to marry this priestess but it didn't work out and i guess that's why she just became um alone and i know the martian names now oh my god oh somebody go back to episode one and tell me that if only I knew. So you have the Aashen, which is the white Martians, the Garun, which is the green Martians, the Yellow, which is the yellow Martians, and I don't remember the red Martians name because I don't say it enough, but it's basically like, guys, Garun, green, Yellow, yellow, Aashen, Ashen. Mm. I fucking love and hate how the Martians just add an apostrophe, a dash, whatever that thing is that the comma on top I, I don't know what that is i just know i hate it when people put it in the middle of my name my name doesn't have it but some people with my name similar to me have it but i fucking hate that thing and the martians the way that they do it john emery anyway i know the martian names now um so i don't only know maala for ak anymore god Fucking damn it, I'm just happy. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the prince wanted to get married to the priestess. And I think she had a calling. So when her marriage to him didn't work out, she just said, Oh no, I shall now become a, a priestess, a wizard. Because from what I gather, you have to have a magic calling. Kind of like Zatanna on Earth. So this is just like space wizards. Jedi. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So Megan can't be that. She's just a very powerful psychic a martian and we still see that the issue between megan and her sister they're kind of cropping up it's not gonna be good for anybody involved i really need to be careful with the clips i play because again i don't want this video to get claimed even though it doesn't get that many views what little money i can get from them i would take it um bioship has retired bioship has been with us since season one episode one two or three and 
apparently she gave birth and this is her offspring i wanted to say son but i don't think bioship there was this whole discussion of genders whether bioship was a female or male and whether that makes for a gay or not and the kid everyone assumed it is a dude because i think color blue but i think the child is also a girl because, but then even connor makes mention that um the ship is ticklish where where is it Oh, she, she, okay. So, I guess, um, as Megan said that it's not really cheating or something, like, they're just, it's basically cell division, so their bi biological chemistry is just much different from how we work. Um, the prince takes Connor and Beast Boy to go and look after, look for his father's murderer, because as we know, his dad was murdered and they still don't know who did it, and Superboy basically was tight friends with Nightwing and Beast Boy tight with tim so they all have people who are good at detective work and this season they're kind of trying to play up connor to be smarter i don't know maybe because i just barely paid attention to him in past seasons but i never saw connor as being the smart he was never the smart one he was always the bronze but he wasn't stupid i think and people have alluded that yeah that's his lex luthor side because he does have lex luthor dna so he should be smart and i don't know if in this later season they're trying to play up that okay he's intelligent but are we trying to say Superman is dumb? Oh no, I like the scar. And I didn't talk about it in my last video, even though it was literally in the thumbnail, but like Superboy has been away from the sun and air, proper air, and he's been underground because Mars is further away from the sun. Basically he's dying, <laughs> but he's not dying, but he's not as powerful as he can be. And I think that was the whole reason why Superman on earth is so strong, which is like, think of the coincidence. He. Superman landed on a planet that just happened to have the perfect proximity to the, to the sun with great atmosphere that gave him like his powers and everything. But I don't know, depending on the continuity or maybe I'm confusing things with Incredible, but on Krypton, the Kryptonians are basically normal, just humans. But when they're on Earth, they're superhuman because of their genetic makeup or whatever. Anyway, the prince brings them to investigate his parent his dad's murder and everybody is sus as fuck red is sus in this entire thing oh my goodness and because beast boy is loud as he says oh the court is not used to loud things and i'm like just create a separate channel as megan does or is that something only megan can do but again they need to know what's going through their heads but they weren't able to give any information oh yeah we also see like this little flashback of megan <laughs> season one bonding with bioship before her uncle could because the ship was proposed to her uncle i don't remember so the ship allowed her to stow away and she ran away and i'm just seeing young megan here just being she's a white alien just pretending to be green and everyone knew but she left she left her brother here and then her sister is like bitch what's your problem i think she's the oldest which really makes me worry for the timeline but they can shape shift so i'm pretty sure her sister is older but just presenting younger and she's still in in gar's second mom's body which makes it so uncomfortable what was this bitch saying over here again yeah the priestess noticed okay there's something off going on here but she's trying to build build bridges make things you know happy dappy um Garfield is showing a lot of mental strain like he's wandering he hasn't slept this guy was in the last no season two he was the villain I don't even remember much of him but I do remember he was like taken over by the scarab but now he's trying to bring honor to the family so basically the boys have to go and do this super dangerous thing and he's offering to go there and the prince also offers and it's just sweet how all these people are coming together for this um what did it what did they call us Malone? Malone or something like that? It, it doesn't correlate for Earth. It's kind of like they're calling us malls or something. Whatever. All these Martians coming together for an Earth person's wedding. Um, Garfield finally turned back into himself. Like, I was actually starting to get tired of the stupid lizard thing. Um, they're 
talking things out, but Garfield is like, oh, we need to go up to the sun so Connor can get some, like, sunlight. Connor's like, it's fine. And the girls are here putting pretty, pretty crystals together for the canopy where they will get married under. And the guys are in lava. And Martians don't do well with heat and fire and stuff like that. But Megan also points out that, um, hey, I figured out there was something between you and the prince. It's sad. Like, they wanted to be together, but I guess she wasn't good enough. And she was even a green Martian. Or maybe she was a Ashen. We don't know. She could have been a white Martian. And she just turned you alone. But because she turned you alone, nobody would know. I don't know, but... Mm, why does she even have to cover her face? Coming from me, I know, but... So many things about Martians are weird. Anyway, Garfield has a mental breakdown and Superboy needs more oxygen while he's here, but because Beast Boy turns into like things native to Mars, his biology is fine, which awesome superpower. Um the 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 thing that Beast Boy turns into is like a monster for Martians, so them seeing it really fucks with them, but whatever. And <laughs> Beast Boy has a breakdown, he's seen visions, he thinks Brion from the last season is coming to get Connor because he still has some unresolved trauma from that, so he takes Connor and bolts to the surface and Connor would will not survive the surface in his state because I think he hit him or something? Yeah, he hits him, he's unconscious, but Beast Boy is seeing things that are not there, where is it? Yeah. This is all in his head, Brion is not there. And the girls, ah, oh, they made the cute canopy, but Megan starts arguing with her sister, and oh my goodness. Not now, not the time, bitch. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Oh my god. My goodness. Damn. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. You gotta love it. It's It comes up at the worst time where none of this is really necessary, but you can't just stop it. And the canopy breaks. It's, it's more dramatic than I'm letting you see, but we can't. We cannot. <laughs> Connor identifies as Kryptonian. There's a lot of comic people that just hate this season because, oh, there's a lot of identifying and racism and stuff like that. But I like the little nuggets they give in because Connor is half Kryptonian. He may have been made on Earth. He may have been half Earthling, but he is still of Kryptonian descent. It's kind of like Superman. Superman is an Earthling, but he is Kryptonian. You can be both. Again, a lot of identifying, there was this whole thing later where the mom says, Oh, when you took on that white Martian form, it felt so fake, but now I accept this is the real you. And I'm like, are they really putting trans allegory into this? It kind of works, but at the same time, bro, you're gonna lose your fan base. I'm not saying cater to the racist bigots, but I'm saying let's let's not just shove them out. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm living, I love all of this, but I'm still looking out for the people who might just be jarred by all of this and just not understand and it's like we can strike a balance and i think they kind of did but again i don't really know i watch this thing what they're portraying is interesting to me i like the whole story on mars i like connor and megan's wedding but there are people who are just over and done with this and they're like dropping the show and it's kind of sad that okay Vi be saying oh violet identifies as non-binary or something something gay 
And people are like, nope, I'm out. And I'm like, really? Are you that sensitive or that intolerant that even something alluding to that can turn you off? Because the show is not derailing the plot because of this. This feeds into Megan's character when she came to Earth and she was identifying as a green Martian. Then she became white. Then she became bald. Now she's this. Now she's that. She's still trying to figure herself out. And figuring herself out is not a crime. And she is 26, so she is mentally developed enough to know, okay, there are things I like and there are things I don't like. And that can all play out between, like, the king of Mars being murdered and these people from the future trying to come and stop whatever it is from happening from happening. Yeah. Things are still awkward. Yeah, having tough conversations is good, but sometimes it's not worth it. Just take it from me. I don't even I don't even want to bother. Her sister apparently took this human form to make her comfortable, but Megan is like, I never asked you for that. Do what makes you feel comfortable, but I'm not comfortable being my full Martian form. And her sister is like, then why are you doing all these Martian traditions if you don't even accept being a full Martian? I don't know, I don't know, but it's kind of interesting. This, it's all it, the thing with Young Justice is, is the connections, is the things between the people. I feel like people kind of disassociated what Young Justice really is or was at its at its core, kind of like with Teen Titans, where they said, "Oh, it's this super serious action show." I never watched the original Teen Titans show, but from what I gather, it was more of a comedy with action in it. And Young Justice is the same thing. It's an action show, but it's more drama. It's more adventure. It's a story about people who have these lives that we know. But instead of us getting Batman, Superman, Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, we get... Artemis, we get Miss Martian, we get Superboy, we get um, Robin, then later Nightwing because we just got subdivisions of them because we can all admit that Superboy was just Superman but younger but then not really more broody. But I like that. So when Young Justice fo focuses on the stories between characters, that's where it gets me and it puts action in it. So people now not liking the story and saying, oh, where's the action? It's like, what show did you think you were watching? Because before it was a bunch of kids crushing on each other or with Robin trying to live up to the Batman mantle but then not really and with Artemis it was her hiding her family secrets it was a lot of things that had to do with characters and them accepting themselves and things and just these teen superheroes growing up but now people just don't want that because oh no wokeism oh no it's too meta I, I don't know I'm just rambling at this point anyway Beast Boy fully freaks out and it's taking Connor to the surface. And the surface, there's no sun. I found that. I found that kind of funny. It, it's sad, but it's funny. It's like, where's the sun? And you think, oh yeah, Mars. It's not, sometimes maybe because you see rover images, you just see a clear sky and you just see like space. But then you think, oh no, it's kind of windy over there and a lot of sand. But the desperation in his voice, he loses Connor and he's, I think he runs off saying, oh, I'm going to go find the sun. <laughs> and it's like, that's not how that works. Oh my god. I don't know why Connor just has more personality this season. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they finally said, oh, we can't just have a brooding black-haired boy anymore. But it's like, you know, we like it. Well, I already, my heart already belongs to another brooding black-haired boy, but bring, bring more, bring more. We like to see it. So Garfield is fully crazy. The Martians, there was this scene with the prince where he was taking, I think, their dad or something, and it looked off, and people were like, oh, what's he doing? And I thought for a second he was the one altering Beast Boy's mind. But they find Connor just in time. Maybe it was this scene here? Yeah, this scene where he put Connor in the ship and it was like, okay. Yeah, things were off here and it's like, okay, what's you doing, boy? You've been sus. But going back when the Legion say, oh, he didn't do something or he was here, I thought they were referring to the prince. Everybody has their alarm and radars off for the prince. The prevailing theory now is maybe the prince and the priestess. 
tag teamed and killed his dad but please no please god no um beast boy's mind is going crazy but some megan comes in and fixes it oh yay hooray sibling stuff a but the prince finds him with most of the tension in the trailers was just from this scene they showed superboy getting his oxygen thing imploded and then him garfield hugging him and it going oh i thought i lost you for a second and i'm like wait this was all in the trailer so oh we really don't know what's gonna happen this season i'm in I'm, I'm i'm up for it i'm down for it they go they talk to megan and megan was like that wasn't me but they did fix your brain though so what that attack that happened to garfield in episode one kind of left him mentally bruised so that was why he was kind of lashing out he was kind of having a mental thing kind of like when we have an injury and we still try to lift heavy things our body reacts but this time it's his mind but they fixed him and megan is sad that oh i didn't even know you were hurting and i'm like it was kind of obvious you can have mental mind powers just look in his mind but after season two yeah megan has got a wake-up call with invading other people's mind after what happened with aqualad yes she learned things the hard way and doesn't do things to people's mind unless specifically asked or has to oh yeah i think there was something last season that had to do with her having to violently erase people's minds to save something but i I think i think violet did saved everything with the power of gay anyway these three from the future were like okay we intervened even though i'll just let her say it I like her energy. It's like, "Eh, yeah, we were supposed to do this, but maybe we always did. It's it's cute. And then it kind of brings the whole thing of, oh, time travel, future stuff. Some people didn't like it. I personally don't like time travel. You all know me. But it's, so long as it's not erased or people don't know, like, if these people from the future came to the past, these people are like a thousand years in the future. So if we in the present don't know they came, I'm okay with it. I, I just hate when people go to the past, do something, and then... They do something good, but oh, nobody ever knows you did that good thing. Or t- I'm going, to get, I'm going to get confused myself. Anyway, they came to the past. So when they were training to be legions, did they always know they'd have to go to the past? Or do you keep information from your time traveling members? And then who do you give the information? Did this bad guy who came to the past know that oh, he was always destined to come to the past and he would be stopped by these three? And why would you do something if you knew you were going to fail? And if you were part of the league, why would they recruit you if they knew you were going to be a bad guy? And also, also, if you were recruited and told you'd be a bad guy, why would you then be the bad guy and go to the past and they will come and stop you when you know they would? But would you think, oh, I'm smarter now because I know... I This is the thing with time travel. Like she said, the history books never mentioned this. So they know that they came to the past. Or they know somebody came, but they didn't know it was them. Time travel shenaniganery. I fucking hate it. But I love her. Reminds me of Supergirl. The closest thing I have to her. There's also a theory that maybe these are like descendants of the main squad or something. Because I don't know. The girl is telepathic. And looking like she has like Kryptonian genes. One of them looks like a forager descendant. The other one can phase through things. So like Martians. So they said maybe so far in the future where people have cross species mixing and integration has gone so far that yeah, you can't even tell the difference anymore. So this is when I think they say goodbye to Bioship and get the new blue Bioship. Who is a baby? Why would you just take a baby and start doing missions with her? Oh, oh, I loved this part i i'm pretty sure i've gone over the 15 minute mark this is why i don't do reviews like this anymore where is it when blue bioship came in and oh god i have to find this give it to me where is it i cannot remember but basically all of bioship's memories and data and experiences was downloaded into the new ship again cell division but there was this scene where the where they said is by is the new bioship able to take care of them and then the bioship just shows their guns like yeah just try me i, I i'm ready i'm armed to the teeth 
I, I know if, if I find it when I'm editing, I'll put it in somewhere here, but I love that scene so much. No hurry! What if someone takes a shot at us again? Seagar, baby's got us covered. So everything ends with the canopy that's finally been built. Ma'ayava Ana Ma'ak. I like it. March 24th. How everything is just written now. Where was the lava thing? You know, they went to get all the lava. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. I think this is it. The lava over the crystals. The men and the women coming together. It was also revealed that Megan's parents didn't get married. Like, they got unionized or whatever. But all this stuff, they weren't able to do it because Megan's mom got disowned by her family for marrying an Ashen. So, I, I think the dad was able to do stuff, but the mom wasn't. I don't know, but... This is so my precious, my precious little alien babies. Wait, are they are they are they doing a tune of "Here Comes the Bride"? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot <laughs> the scene with Superman talking on the phone to Lois about John. Um, people were talking about, oh no, it was John born after Damien, and was like, no, if you remember last season, Damien was always also a baby but this i think it's been a year later so john is probably a one-year-old but a one-year-old just learning to walk i don't know i don't know but apparently his powers are kicking in lois even calling superman out that did you go to the watchtower just to get off of diaper duty but he can see them from space and i'm like motherfucker if you can see them from space go go down there and help your wife you you can travel at what the speed of sound you'll be there in a few minutes and I, again i can't remember if this superman can't um Breathe in space. <laughs> oh, my God, that. Cyborg was quick with that boom tube. Like, Superman was like, my wife is about to get murdered by our child. Um, apparently, Superman might be able to go to Mars in time for the wedding. But with all this happening with John, can he actually leave Lois with a baby that's just um, discovering their powers? And Or maybe they'll take Lois with them. That would be so cute. Oh, but yeah, that's this episode, episode three. I I love it. I love where the story is going, Young Justice is back, everybody and everything else be damned. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I have been talking for too much. I've literally said everything in my head about this. So yeah, I want to know what you think about this. But yeah, thanks for asking so much for clicking to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And with that being said, this is TVC. Signing out.